Greetings, everyone. This is Shema Ben Israel representing New TV, Seventh Trumpet, Television TV, right here on YouTube. This is the second installment in the new series entitled Have You Met God? Discussing the components of the Bible, or some call the Holy Bible. Now, quickly let me say this the Bible is a book that deals with the spirit. It is not a book you read for inspiration. The Bible is the law of God, his personal beliefs, and must be obeyed even, and especially when the law of God conflicts with the laws of the government. So first, the Bible is a book of spirit. Secondly, the Bible is a book that is God's law. Thirdly, the Bible is not a collection of stories. It is a judicial record recorded by uh, the Father as he directs concerning the lives of ordinary people contained in a canonization of scripture called the Bible. Now, let me say this. The Bible is not God. God is God, and he created the Bible. So don't get caught up in worshiping the Bible. Worship God. Jesus Christ is God, the Father, come down in a body in this dimension to provide a way of escape from the wrath which is to come. Have you ever met God? Did you know that there is a God and that he is not you and that he is most certainly not me? Did you know that God has a plan for your life? Jesus Christ will not make you a Christian because he didn't come to die for Christians. He didn't come to die for Buddhists. He didn't come to die for, for Zenist. Or, he came to die for you and for me. And if you were the only one on the earth, he would have given his life just for you. I know he did that for me. So I want you to have that blessed assurance that Jesus Christ is God. There is a God and it's not me and it's not you. One more time. The Bible, first and foremost, okay, is um a book that deals with the spirit of a man. Secondly, it is God's personal beliefs, his law. And thirdly, it is not a book of stories, a collection of stories. It is a judicial record of, as directed by God, concerning the lives of ordinary people. Now, I want to challenge you. Get you a copy of the Bible. It doesn't matter what's the King James. I want to talk, I'll be back to talk about why it doesn't matter. But find one that was published before 76. Uh, anything after 76 and 86 forward, as far as English goes, some of the translations are really screwed up. I know you got the KA, what's the new NIV and different ones like that. But try to find you a Bible um, that was published before 76. That way the language translates better. Also remember this, Jesus Christ was a Hebrew speaking Jew. He did not speak English. So you'll want to make sure you get a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance or a Strong's Concordance. I love the Exhaustive Concordance to help you break the English back to the Hebrew so that you can understand and get a more accurate understanding of what was being said, how it was being said, and whether it was considered holy script or commandment or whether it was just a statement made from relationship. It is critical that you understand that. All right. This has been Shema Ben Israel representing New TV, Seventh Trumpet TV, right here on YouTube. You know what to do if you want to not miss the next, uh, not miss the next video. Uh, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit that little bell, and let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Even if you don't do anything else, leave a comment. 
All right. Uh, I'm praying for you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.